Oh yeah, we got a package. Label F2526, that's for the X3. Oh yeah, looks like we got a mod going on. Beautiful, can't wait to put these on. Wait a second. Oh man, the X3 is up in New Jersey. That's right. Oh well, it looks like it's gonna be a remote mod. Let's go. for the luggage to come around the carousel. I got my ride outside. Here's my ride, I'm getting in the car. Well, we made it here to the house. I'm gonna do these grills tomorrow. I'm not gonna bother, it's dark out and I'm hungry. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with another DIY modification video. Yes, I am up in Northern New Jersey, no, I didn't fly up here just to do this modification. Uh, some of you may know, my wife has been up here on contract for over a year and a half at her old hospital. And during that time, we have flown back and forth between Florida and New Jersey uh, every couple of weeks to see each other. But this weekend is special because it's my big birthday, the big 6 -0. That's right, 60 years old, oh my God. Uh, look, I certainly don't feel it. I don't think I look it completely. And uh, the DIYs, the mods, and the honeydew lists definitely keep me feeling young, so that helps. But today we're gonna do the grills on the BMW X3, the F25. She has seen mine that are black and many others. That's probably the first thing everyone does when they get a BMW and their grills are not black. First thing you do, I know that was the first thing that I did. I grabbed mine and swapped those out really quick. So we're gonna take care of that. One, this here should be a very simple process. We've got this rubber piece that I may pull out because that is where the six T30 screws are located, right under there. So I'm just gonna pull that out very easily to get it out of the way so it doesn't obstruct with what I'm doing. This car needs a good cleaning inside, a good detailing. If it was down in Florida with me, it would be immaculate. We're gonna take off these here so we can access the grills from behind and not damage any of the clips. All right, so now that the six T30s are removed, we can just pull on the plastic bumper here. We do have, see if I can get a close up, a little plastic that is sticking up from the slot there. Hope you can see that. I'm just gonna lift it up and make sure I go over it. But it should just be a matter of pulling it forward so I can get back in there behind each of the grills and get to the clips that are around the perimeter and make sure I squeeze them in and pull them out. All right, so what I did was got in behind to those three clips there, and I'll show you in a minute. I pushed down with my screwdriver from behind. It was a little tighter than expected to get my hand in there, so I used a screwdriver, I pulled them down. Then I used a butter knife on the opposite side here at the bottom. I used a butter knife to get underneath because I don't have a plastic trim tool, and I just went right underneath so I can pass it right above these clips. And then it comes right out. And you'll see a close up here. We have these clips on the top. We have two on the side. We have three more at the bottom, right there. Eight in total. So the top ones is easier on this model. I just got the screwdriver in from behind. 
and just pushed down on the tabs and I cleared it. And each tab that I cleared, I would put forward pressure with my hand to keep it away from the bumper so it won't snap back in. And once I got those, then I moved on to the sides and I pushed those in. And then to get to the bottom, once I got it out from the top side, I just went underneath with the butter knife, touch on each one of those tabs. I cleared it and it popped it right out. And I'll do the other side. These two on the top are out. And I'm just pulling and keeping my thumb in there to hold the tension so it doesn't snap back in. And now I'll just get underneath where I know those tabs are. And done. No tabs broken. All intact. All eight. I'll just clean that up and put the new grills on. All right, now that it's clean, the new grills have the exact same eight clip. I'm just going to start from the bottom, push it in, and hear the snap, and we're good to go. Lining them up nice and perfectly there. And a little bit of pressure. So you hear the click. And that's it. That's done. Once again, lining up the tabs at the bottom first. Want to make sure that they're in place. And then looking at the top, making sure that they line up. And a little bit of forward pressure. So you hear that snap. Give it a little tug just to make sure that they're secure, which they are. And that's it. Let's put the six T30s back in. And there you have it. They're looking great. The car needs a definite wash. They fit completely stock. Well, that's it for now. Short, very quick modification for any BMW. It's probably the first thing that we do. That's what I said, right? I'm going to go inside, wash up a little bit. I got a feeling I'm going to take that Range Rover out for a spin. All right, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell so you'll never miss out on any other videos that I may be posting. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.